Hi, Tyler here from FlexArm. Today I'll be talking to you about how we actuate different components of our CNC lathe in our automated work cell. Um, the last video we posted was just kind of a brief overview of what we're trying to do here. I checked that out if you haven't yet. Over the next few weeks I'll be explaining uh, different components and specifics of our automated work cell and I'll be explaining some challenges we've faced along the way. Um, if you have any questions, like what you see, or even if you don't, just leave feedback in the comments so I can tailor these videos to help your automated manufacturing needs. With that being said, let's get started with today's topic, uh, machine actuation. For this setup here on our lathe, we are actuating three machine components. The door, the cycle start button, and the pedal, which controls uh, opening and closing the collet. Our ready robot has six individually controlled airports and uh, I'll show you how these airports are controlled in the program that then control the cylinder that open and closes the door, the cylinder that presses uh, the cycle start button and then the, the pedal presser that you can see right here. So here's the manual control for the airports on a ready robot. Um, as you can see there, there are some end effector airports which are up by by the end effector that can control the opening and closing of the grippers. But what we'll be focusing on today with the, the machine actuation is that those six air ports that I was uh, that you saw earlier. So for example, A1, if you turn that on, that's gonna that's gonna hit the cycle start button in our on our machine. So I'll hit on. I'll take you over here and I'll show you that that cycle start button is pressed. This airline again connects all the way all the way to that base of the ready robot. So you turn it off. You turn it off. Spring actuates the cylinder to come off of the cycle start button and then your cycle is, would now be running in the machine. So C1 and C2 are the stand air ports that control opening and closing the door. If I turn C1 on, you can see that the door opens. Now I'm gonna turn C1 off and turn C2 on. And that closes the door. Here's a closer look at the, the actual cylinder itself and what we had to do um, to fit it to our lathe. Uh, those two blocks are just at, at different heights to uh, compensate for the door being at a different height than what it's mounted to back here. Um, also on there you can see some uh, control valves, some float control valves that uh, we can dictate how fast or slow the the door opens and closes, so we're not slamming it too hard, but it's also not jogging at a, at a slow pace so we can help keep our cycle time low. I've placed the part here in the collet. The collet's open, so it's, it's free to move in and out. Now I use the robot to close the collet with, by using the air. So here in the actual program, uh, I have it set up, so instead of using the, the manual controls, we're going to just start the cycle from right here it's going to press the foot pedal down sleep for one second and then release the foot pedal and that should close the collet and we our part should be secured in the collet now let's take a look over here parts in there collet's closed you can run that again and collet's open. So that's the actuation of the collet uh, using the Ready Robot stand air ports. Now I'll show you a demo of how these three components look like when they all work together. So for this demo, we're gonna say that the robot just loaded that uh, pin into the collet and came back to this position. Now in our program, we'll have the pedal pressed down and unpressed so that the collet closes. 
we will close the door and then hit the cycle start button pretend that our cycle takes about five seconds and then we're going to open the door and unclamp the collet now we'll see how this happens in real time i'll start the test from the top you can see the pedal get pressed closes the collet the door then closes cycle start button is pushed now your machine would be running through its cycle right now and then once it's done the door opens the collet is released the robot comes in takes it out and you're ready for the next part all right guys so i hope that was helpful again if you have any questions comments feedbacks please leave something in the in the comment section and, and let me know um, i hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you next time